Hello friends, today we'll be using ChatGPT to optimize GIS operation using KeyGIS and spatial data management of using PostGIS and PostGIS as well. And like we all know, ChatGPT is an AI platform uh, developed by OpenAI and uh, we can use it to optimize some GIS operations. So before we proceed, uh, we'll be uh, we'll, in our database, we are in our DB manager, we have uh, Postgres database and in our Postgres database, we have a number of tables, we'll be using uh, a few of them, we have states, schools, um, we have police stations, and we have markets. So let's see how we can optimize using, first of all, let's select a state in Nigeria. To do that, I'm going to click on my query dashboard, and here we have it. So let's go back to the chat GPT. So I'll be, I'll, I'll say, um, let's create, uh, Post yes, okay. Select Canon from states. So I'm going to use this. So here we have a simple query. Um, for those of us that are new, you can you can just use this and uh, select copy this. Go back to my DB manager, my QGIS, then I'll paste it. But first of all, before you execute your query, you have to confirm that this data here yeah, we are using states, not states. So I'm going to copy S, and then the name. You have to confirm the column name. Uh, where that contains the names of states so i'm going to click on my statement now click on table we have different columns and then we have admin am adm one en as the field that contains names of states so i'll go back to my query and then i will change it to adm one en that will click run as a cute. So after that, here we have the results of our query and then if you want to view it in the QGIS environment, click load as new and then we have, it's going to give it an ID number and you can choose the geometry column which is Joe. Uh, if you click load, it's actually loaded but it's best you add a layer name. So let's say Kano then we'll load. Then having done this, we'll go back to QGIS environment, we have kernel loaded there. So let's try same thing for a different state. Um, let's say we we'll want to copy the same query. Now just do the same thing for Lagos. So I'll change here to Lagos. I'll try them query executes then we have the results returned and then at this point i'll click lagos and then load so if you check our uh, QGIS environment and zoom in you have kano and lagos at the bottom so let's try another query let's say um let's say I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to say select schools that are within Kano from state. So I'm going to search this. And then, so you have to be careful with the way you search because you know it's an AI, and then you will select.
you make sure you know what you are doing before using the query so uh, okay see. Uh, here is giving us a uh, vb uh, let's check for uh is sql query sorry mistake sorry since i've been typing it wrongly uh i'm supposed to be single r and then sql yes okay sorry all right still executing Picking this for panel, we've used this earlier, so I'll still, yeah. So I'm going to change this to select schools that are within panel, let's say. Let's see what the result will be. Okay, still giving us the same script. Let's copy this and see. Okay, um, back to postgres. I'm going to paste this. And then I will say select schools from schools join state so i'm going to change this to state make sure your schools is still s and the s contains states i'm going to change it to states the geometric field is germ and then the school geometry field is germ so you have to get this information from your your table so you can go to your table and preview then here we will change this name to like we did previously um going to use uh, the mean dn1 let's run the script and see what the result will be yes so it has returned uh we have 5900 rows out of six okay rows uh and this are the second so we have 5925 rows let's say let's let's load it and see what to give us i think i'm going to check it here school let's see what to give and then i'll minimize this go to my qgis environment and lo here we have the schools that are within uh canon so we can try the same thing for police station um let's copy the script and then try that for okay we're going to change it so we have a police station check the name of police stations so i'm going to check it here to police so if you have that in your uh database so it to bring up the name so I will just have to type uh, spell it wrongly so just do this states yes schools no and the changes to police so I'll pick this and I will click execute okay I think that you mixed it Take some here. Yeah. These stations. Just giving us an arrow. Trim, trim. Type in one. Why it's giving us a wrong. Okay, let's see. For these stations. So let's confirm the police station geometry field. It's GEM, so I don't know why. Okay. Uh, 
So let's try same thing for markets. Let's see market. Yes, it has returned the market, so I don't know what happened to this police station. So I'm going to type markets, and then I will load this. So if we go back to your QGIS, we have market notes. So we have schools. I can uncheck the school. We have the markets. And that is for Kano. We can pick same script, just changing uh, the layer name. We can just change with the same script here will be here will be Lagos and here will be Lagos and then I'm going to run this separately as a Qt so here we have the results I'm going to say okay these are schools big in Lagos so we have them added to our layer then I'm going to run the same thing for markets I'm going to type as a cube then we'll say markets in Lagos Then I'm going to load this. So if I should go back to my QGIS, we can see layers loaded here. They have the markets and then the schools. All right. So let's try that of road network and see what the result will be like. So in this case, I'm going to type. Uh, Let's say I'm going to type, copy this, I'm going to paste this, and I'm going to say select road network, select ng road that are within this kernel from state. So I'm going to click this. And then uh, let's wait for the results. So here we have the results. I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it in my DB manager. So let's try and see what it's going to look like. I'm going to paste this. So we have ng road. Uh, let's see, confirm it's NGA. I'm going to make it NGA Okay I'm going to remove this Let's make it NGA roots. Then here NGA roots. Then like I said Our field for geometry is drawing Not geometry so you have to confirm what your field for geometry is and then you run. So in this case, I'm going to run this and I'm going to execute. Okay, it says 
paste it. Okay, we need ne we need to change the name for the state. So I'm going to choose at the ADM, which is one. Then we're going to execute this again. Yes. So here we have the road. So I'm going to put this as Canon Roads. Then I'll load this into my QGIS environment and we have let's go to canon so here we have the roads that are within uh, canon so um, there are other operations one can use like you can see from the road network are uh, uh, within like the script that I use is what contains we have contains st contains we have st within and then we can ST within and a lot of operations uh, for geometry join. So you can just check that up, or we can search. You can use ChatGPT to uh, find, give all special join functions. using ST. So let's see if it's going to give us results. All right, okay. Sometimes this error comes up, so the best thing you do is to uh, refresh. And then click on the previous option here, then I can then is this and let's see what the result is going to be yeah we have st we have st contains which is the one we just used st within st crosses st equals i think uh, st intersects and then st overlaps and then I think I've seen ST within, so ST touches, so ST within, so returns if the first, so these are options, these are functions uh, for special, so I can try, let's try that of ST uh, within and see what the results will look like, uh, still right here with this, so let's try this and see, I'll go back to my special, my DB manager, I'm going to change my st contains to st within and then i'll paste this I haven't done that i'm going to run my query oh it's uh okay contains within within work so let's go back and see if we can try one of these uh, Contains returns true first contains the second geometry returns if the first geometry is completely within okay completely within we want the ones that are completely within not the ones that are outside oh, okay so let's see touches let's see okay. if the ge geometry share at least one point in common but do not overlap. So let's try touches and see. So you can try this using ChatGPT. Just search for your uh, functions and then run them and see what the result will be like. Okay, I have no results here, so I'm giving it as contained. So here we have. All right. So this is just basic query in our next video we will be looking at advanced query using chat gpt on um, the gis and special database so see you in our next video